Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how you doing, boys and girls? So, today's going to be a more brighter video. Um, tomorrow, we're going to, I'm going to write down a piece of paper after today, or sometime tomorrow morning, and I'm going to write a list of things I want to improve and things that I was ashamed of in the past that shouldn't hold me down anymore. I'm doing good at it now, but that's for tomorrow. Today, I just wanted to look on the good things real quick and a short video, but I just want to spread the message uh, real quick before I get into that. Uh, fitness update, uh, still sitting at 239. Um, I ate some Wendy's right now within my deficit, of course. And um, I'm going to drink some tea. And uh, in the morning, I might weigh 238. So looking forward to that. Um, but with that being said, let's get to the, today's message of uh, being proud of yourself. So really, I think we do a lot of things that we should be proud of. Uh, I'll use me as an example, I guess. Right. Um, so I go to college now. I got a job. And, uh, I got my permit and, um, you know, all kinds of stuff that I should be proud of, but I wasn't, I was too hard on myself. I saw these things, I was doing these things, but I still wasn't proud of myself because I didn't realize, like, like I always did realize how hard it would be. Cause if I didn't do things that I did, I wouldn't have the opportunities that I have. And I just didn't think about it though. I was like, you know, there's a chance that this wouldn't happen. I've always been humble and appreciate stuff I got, but what's just been so hard is like the inner battle I had with myself over the past few months was just, I wasn't like allowed to just be proud of myself. I wouldn't allow myself. Um, so if you're going through that same area or you're in that same boat, you should get out of that boat. Hop out the boat swim across and find the shore that gives you hope because you should be proud of yourself you should be able to take a look at things you do and be proud of yourself if you genuinely don't have things to be proud of see that as a new starting point don't see that as miserableness and take the way out you know it's okay to be sad of course but once you you get the emotions out just pick yourself back up and start going and uh that's what i'm kind of doing i uh I realized, man, I got a lot of good things going. I should be proud of myself. And um, yeah, just just be proud of yourself, man. You don't deserve to be so hard on yourself. Um, always stay motivated and stay hard to keep going, but don't hate yourself. Don't use hate as a motivation ever, okay? Don't hate. Even if it's like other people and you're trying to be motivated to go forward, uh, don't do that. Uh, resentment is evil and it's easy to get lost in because then you start to resent yourself um just love yourself and uh that's harder it's much easier said than done um it took a lot for me to start to like myself right now i like myself i'll be honest i'll be transparent i don't think i love myself yet but i like myself and i can say i'm proud of myself and by being proud of myself I'm starting to get to a much better state that's easier to love. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Just be proud of yourself. I'm proud of myself. And um, elephant in the room, we're filming in a car. And I'm also proud of myself because I wanted to share with y'all. Um, I bought myself my very first car. I am 18 years old and man, I worked my butt off for scholarships. But I paid my first two year of tuition, and so I got money returned, and I just was going to be a wise money spender. And here we are, y'all. I bought myself my first car at 18. Just be proud of yourself. Uh, just keep going. Be motivated. Just do things that, you know, would benefit you, and you might find yourself in a better state that you never thought you would even be in. Anyways, that's it for today. Uh, we'll confront the demons tomorrow. I love y'all. Have a great night. Or whether it's morning, evening, or night. Have a great time. Bye.